memorabilia always brings in major bids for collectors. What about a lock of John Lennon's hair? Well, the largest lock of John Lennon's hair ever offered is about to hit the auction block. It was cut in preparation for his role in the 1966 film, How I Won the War. Joining us now is Heritage Auction Director of American Art, Aviva Lehman, the company that is hosting the auction of John Lennon's hair. Aviva, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. You've got the, the lock of hair right there. I Let's sure do. <laughs> it's there. It's real. There you go. And what Look is the bidding? The, the bidding is already up to what? Bidding is already up to $12,000, believe it or not. And the auction is this Saturday at Heritage Auctions in Dallas. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it just, I mean, for a collector, yep. that's, that's, what is the stack in terms of importance? So, you know, believe it or not, there is a history of selling hair at auction. There is a market for this sort of thing. In 2007, we sold a lock of Che Guevara's hair for over $100,000. Oh my God! I Who know. bought it? I know. So, I can't so tell Chase, you that. You couldn't do better than John Lennon. Well, it's all a popularity contest. Wow. Let's see who's interested. This past year, we sold a lock of Lincoln's hair for over thirty thousand dollars. Oh wow! So you can That's find a Lincoln's lock hair. from every category of popular culture, really. But huh. this is what we believe to be the largest lock of Lincoln's hair, uh, of uh, Lennon's hair, to ever be sold at auction. How do you so. even? How do you authenticate that? Like, how do you know there's John yeah, that's Lennon's a great hair? That's a good question because that's important with material right. like this. So this is coming to us directly from. From the barber, the hairstylist who cut his hair in September of 1966 for the role. So um, this man, Klaus Baruch, gave it to us, and he's sort of had his 15 minutes of fame because when this was the cover story of all the papers in, in Germany in 1966, you could see the back of his head cutting the hair, you oh, could wow. see his hand holding the hair. So it's been with him since the hair was cut, so we can trace the provenance directly back. And it, it was quite a moment too, right? That was a big hairstyle change. At that that moment. was a very big moment. Uh, the world was quite upset about it because he had this long, gorgeous hair, and they cut it for this role, and it, you know. I think that it was very negative. People were very sad about him losing his hair, but it was also a pretty important. But now they can have that. They can have this, and it was also a moment where he first started wearing the round glasses that we yeah. all come to mm -hmm. think of, especially in New York. Do you see cycles in your business? In other words, when the stock market is not doing well, does that I impact auctions? And or do do you see when one real estate is down, maybe people decide to to, to collect you know, things more? That's a really good question, and we see we think about that a lot. But in 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 truth, even in a down market people want to put their money into something else other than the stock market as an investment. So there is always a collecting market for material like this. All right, we will leave it there. Aviva, thanks so much for bringing uh, in welcome. the Lock Affair. Thank you. We appreciate it. Aviva Lehman there. Heritage Auctions. Go check it out and check out John Lennon's Lock of Hair. Up